been there anyway. But, uh, Big old dump getting here first. All right, guys, I'm back. We got Mock with me here. Mock, how you doing? Uh, what's up? Not doing good. Just yep, watched that set with you and Logan, dude. That was nuts. I'm surprised he actually went Peach. Huh? I'm really surprised he went Peach. Oh yeah, he's got a. Pe he was maining Peach for a little while. Um, but I don't think recently. He sat down and he said, uh, "What character do I feel like playing?" Which I, I don't. I don't know, that's an interesting mentality to go into a set with, but... Well, here we got Carol, he's the one who put me in the losers, and we got Naka, who's doing pretty good. He'd be poor. I know Carol feels like this is his corner, man. He really wants it, so... I think he, I think he does, too. Ooh! Damn. That was nice. He still does stuff that I had almost never seen. Oh, he's doing the Rallis! I know in the past uh, these two have had you know kind of back and forth sets. Uh, recently, I think Naka has been taking them, but there was a string there, like two or three tournaments where Carol was taking them. So yeah, yeah uh, he's definitely. If Carol's made the proper adjustments. He could definitely take this. He's definitely playing smarter. He definitely tell. He's being innovative with his approaches, but he's like following up with them really, really well. And he doesn't just rush in; like he's very smart about it. Naka, on the other hand, Naka's just like 20,000 different moves like per minute. Oh, yeah. Naka, he's like, once he gets ahead of steam, it's uh, really scary. Right. He's, uh, I think it's his, his instinct to play, like, uh, pretty aggressive, um, a lot of reads. Like, he plays really cool, but, you know, with the current metagame, you can't necessarily do that. So he'll, like, go in and out of that mentality, like... You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, if he starts to fall behind, you'll see him play a little bit more defensively. But uh, once he starts to build some momentum, he really runs away with it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's off for us. I didn't think it was off for them, but... Yeah. Going up for D. No Captain Falcon likes that stage. Naka. Oh, okay. Never mind. That was going up. Nick won. So. I'll... Oh, okay. Not yeah. Not paying attention. Look at that. He's rocking the S1 tag. Smart skills, boy. Our boy. Jake Carroll, the Fox homie. The Fox homie? Oh, yeah. Infamous <laughs> Midwest funny girl, okay. as seen on uh, Super Sweet TV. I'm actually surprised that Naka went here because I know that he. First of all, I think this mat or this stage is pretty bad in general for Fox. But uh, I know particularly Naka doesn't like this stage against Carol. I know he'll take Taki here all the time. But uh, he mentioned to me that he doesn't really like this stage against Carol. This is a good. Well, Carol's pretty good on the stage. Yeah. But I think he's taking him here just because he's able to follow up on tech chases a lot easier. The platforms. Yeah. Puts him away. What? What do you say? I'm gonna try to get my match with uh, Brad. Or oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'd like to see that. Have you guys played before? Yeah. I've played. It took me a sec to get used to it. But... 
Yeah, it's uh, you never fully get used to it. Oh no, that's a yeah, that's a jump. That's a real bad. Yeah, that's like you just kind of lose control of your like controller, like yep. where your hands are placed. Yep. And this game's so fast, you can't just like you just kind of freak out trying to readjust your hands when you're down there. Okay, so Nick, hit in. There. Oh. Follow up. Not this follow up though. What, what? Straight okay. up was smart there because once Naka missed that up tilt, he's gonna back away so he could catch the angle. Yeah. Right. I thought he did that. Yeah, this might thought. be the first time this set Naka's had a lead. I think you're right. So, like I, I don't said, think it's gonna last for long though. Uh okay. And if you drop an edge guard like that to Falcon, it can be a while before you actually get the kill. Not this time. Not easy still to got kill. that lead. Oh, yeah, I nice smashed the guy. Shield high so he gets in the grab. Kel's doing a really good job of uh, when Naka goes for the reads off of his throws and misses them. He's getting in there and actually getting a punish off of it. Yep. Taki's been doing this thing where he'll take people to their counter picks. Just to kind of mess with them. You know, mess with their heads a little bit. Yeah, say, if I can beat you here, like, where are you going to take me now? Right. So uh, that might be kind of what Naka's trying to do. Uh, but I do know he does like the stage in this matchup against certain Foxes, so he might have just been trying it out. Well, he's doing really well. So yeah, far. yeah, I mean, he won the first game, and uh, he's up, at, up in this game. So. Right. He won the second game with the first game on that yeah. game. Oh, yeah. I'm wrong. Just let it slide. Just keep, keep it going. We'll let the streamers be, uh, <laughs> the stream viewers be misinformed. As long as I look good. Nice up smash by Carol. Not enough to finish knock it off. But it's the rig, it's the up smash. That's, that's a stock. Knock has still got a really, really demanding lead though. He's got a stock. Yeah, he's got a full stock. Full stock. Which means he can uh, play like himself a little bit more. He's got a little bit more leeway. Yeah, Fox's was... punish game on this stage is really brutal. Like, he can kind of just keep, uh, he can just keep juggling Falcon, yep. essentially. Uh, okay. He's not necessarily guaranteed, but it's not overly difficult either. Oh, wow. I've been seeing Naka incorporate those more uh, than I used to, because the forward smash as a mix-up. Some of those anti-metagame things that are fashionable. Oh, oh that's, that's Winners. This is Winners, isn't it? No, no, it's... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, all right, that was that was guys. My bad. 